Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher 1 where we start off with a box fight. No way, not me. Oh, okay. Ah, first fighter. What a Okay. Maybe 50? No way. Okay. What a then maybe 20 So Oh kick we'll see No challengers Your mother sacks dwarf Can you fight like a lass I'm itching to it Okay, I don't know whether this was dodging or blocking, but I think that I quite understood that. Now, first one down. Let's have another fight. So we betted 20. I don't know how why the equals it. You win, Wanderer. Take your coin and leave me be. I should have to get slapped. Okay, tough. Two. I'm in. I think against him we nearly won. No challenges. Okay, now we got him. Good. What I wanted to say before... Don't get me wrong, ain't no complaining. But the little dance at the end Did you is too train long. With the lion? I'm a witcher. I win. Take your prize. Alright. Oh, wait. I'll take the... Ah, okay, first one. I'll take the meteorite steel and the runic stone. Take it and be gone. Good. Oh no. Wait, we can actually consume. That. Just give me a little sec. No challenges. If we have already beaten him, then forgive me. So let's actually quick save and another one. Greetings, Whitey. Yeah. Do you fight for? No way. Okay, that was too much. And yes, we are not gonna spend all episode here. I promise. So we started off by 20. Let's go up to 30. Should bring it up. I'm itching to it, someone. Who wants to get smash your face? Right, I think we no challenges. might be able well. Quick, sorry, sorry, sorry. I am now feeling and getting the hang out of it. You're not bad. It's no shame losing to the white-haired one. Fair enough. Oh, 
And oh yeah, since we are here, we can actually even do something cool and um, put some stuff to. I'm itching to it, someone. Do you fight for 35, buddy? And put something into the inventory Should here. Be an interesting Bring it yep, up. Yep, yep. You fight like a That was a quick one. Terrible times. That's what I mean. Why is he dancing? Anyways. <clears throat> You're not bad. Yep, yep, yep. And then he's done. No challenges. Then you are gonna fight for 15, oh, and this one see. should be an easy one. I'm not judging or shaming him. You fight like a lass. So that now we should have actually taken down all of them we could. Maybe the one dude is missing we need to take down. This is actually what is bugging me right now, not with the game, but that I cannot wrap my mind or my head around who I still need to beat. Because to get that dude doesn't want to fight. So there's nothing more we can do here. No challenges. Good, good, good. Let me quickly then. Your most greetings. Can I help you? Yep, yep, yep. You can. Um, there. And I just wanna. Oh boy, we still have something for Triss. That's good. That is actually quite good. Bathroom. If we get into crafting, it's gonna be nice to have. Let's actually. One thing we are gonna do too. Is going. Just want to see. And yes, this is stuff we can then sell to at a point. And the ring, silver family ring, gold diamond ring. The gold diamond ring I'm gonna take with me for Chris. So um let's see. In the invitation to magic. Magic is a an incantation of chaos, a key which opens forbidden doors to nightmares to the powers of pure evil capable of annihilating the entire world. Do you not fear magic? Do you still want to tame it, to wield it? Know then that magic is a talent given only to the chosen few. Have you found this talent within you? Do you want to tap into this source? Know that that years of intensive study wait you you must gain intensive knowledge and constantly sharpen your mind creative magic is not witcher science and parlor tricks magic is an art once uh, you learn to control it to control the art you will gain power over fire water earth and air power over people's minds powers over yourself good okay and there's the good thing 
I can actually check if glossary is update. Okay, locations to Zima. The guide to Zima. Marco Knopf or Marco Knopf. Like most human cities, Zima was built on the foundations of an elven city. The seat. Ah, that's why the temple in the sewers, right? The seat of the Temerian kings grew over the centuries and today consists of three large districts, a port and, a, and sprawling outskirts. In the temple quarter, the visitor's attention is drawn to the mon monumental cloister in the Order of the Flaming Rose, Saint Libyard's Hospital, famous for the many miraculous recoveries that have occurred there. It's also hard to miss. While admiring these edifices, a world wandering into the non-human district, which has become a den of poverty and the layer of social outcasts. Most non-humans have been relocated to Old Vizima, which has become a ghetto in the Sesquiturus. Currently, the trade quarter is developing rapidly. This is hardly uh, surprising as it is home to wealthy merchants as well as trade and political officials. The city's leading bank and the town hall also can be found here. While in Vizima's trade quarter, be sure to visit the famous marketplace where traders offer goods from around the world. Good that we got. I just wanna see if I haven't read anything there. Alright, good. That means we can now for the rest of this episode actually go up to the rich dude. I don't know if it's a mo nobleman, a merchant, whatever, mate. And I cannot really pronounce his name, but then we are here and can quickly check, chat with him. Yes? What did you learn from those documents? The location of the last Salamander cell in Vizima's merchant quarter. I'll hurry there now. Not so simple. It's beyond the supervised zone. Entrance is forbidden. So what's the plan? A city guard officer is our informer. He's posted in Vizima's streets. How will I recognize him? He'll respond to a password. Speak the words, the lily has yet to be engulfed by flames. I'm getting tired of this espionage crap. He will answer, three lilies make one. He will direct you to the hideout. Oh boy, alright. Good, good, good. Female companion. Then let us go to the marketplace. We are going to do the Triss thing. I don't know if this is... Since we already spent a fair amount of time, I think, in Chapter 3, this might be leading to the end of Chapter 3 or the boss fight and fight ending, I don't know. So let's actually endure here and quickly sell stuff, go to Triss, and then take a quick look if there are... Ah, okay, and these are the guards we're gonna need to go to and check on. But we, first of all, gonna go to the merchants, then we're gonna go to Triss, and then I'll check... What kind of things are still open, contracts, whatever. We have a quick look there. So, Guardsman, do we have a... Someone who is actually buying... My friend Julian wishes to enter the wine cellar. Exotic goods from Zerik. I can't sell stuff but oh, this just gives endurance back I was hoping for something else exotic you don't look Zeracanian the royal sell royal strong ale yeah farewell good conversation no that's unforgivable a wink was that Plow secrecy! All know I sell information. What'll it be? Salamandra has wrested control of the criminal underworld. The bandits have powerful allies, else they wouldn't be so untouchable. Yeah, okay, that was now... Behold! Uh, the best goods in the civilized world! Yeah, okay, guys, we will sell the stuff quickly in the next episode then go to Tris and take a look at the journal for now today's episode is actually already at the end for now you know it i as usual really really thank you for watching if you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode then please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe don't mind and hopefully and hopefully i see you in the next episode until then i wish you all a wonderful and beautiful hopefully not too too warm day until tomorrow um thank you and goodbye